Welcome to the complete video tutorial of the student application. Open the app and click on Get Started. Then you have to log in using your username and password. After that, you will see the dashboard. Let's talk about these features one by one. To view your complete profile, click on your image. Now all your personal information will be shown on the screen. Scroll the screen to the right side to view more details. The next option on the dashboard is online classes. Here, if you want to add a reminder in your device for the next class, you can add that by clicking on the add button. Now you can view your recent class. If you want to attend this class just click on live button, and you will enter your class. To view the upcoming classes scroll the screen to right. Here you will be able to see all your upcoming classes details. The next option you have on the dashboard is homework. Here you will see all the homework assigned by different teachers to you. To download the homework document, click on the download icon, the file will start downloading in the background. To view the additional information if it is available, click on the view icon. The information will be shown on the screen. Now click on the upload icon to upload the completed work for evaluation. Here click on the image icon and select the image or document from the device you want to attach. Now enter the remark and click on submit. The work will be submitted to the concerned teacher. Let's get back to the dashboard. The next feature is the notice board. This option will show you all the notices pinned by teachers for the students. To view the complete notice, click on the view button. The next feature on the dashboard is the timetable. Here you can see your daily timetable, with timings, and room number. The next option on the dashboard is to apply leave. Here you can apply for a leave and view your pending and approved leave requests. To apply a leave click on this add icon. Now select the application date. And then select the from and to dates. If you want to apply leave for only one day, then select same dates. Then enter the reason for your leave, and you can also attach a document if you want, and then submit your request. The status of your request will change to approve when your teacher will approve it. You can edit and delete your requests whenever you want. The next option on the dashboard is attendance. Here you can see all your attendance history. The next option is the examinations. Here you can see the schedule and result of the exams. To view the schedule, click on the exam schedule. Here you will see all the details about the exam. To view your exam result, click on exam result. Remember that you can only see the exam result option when it is published by the teacher. Now let's get back to the dashboard. The next option is online exam. Here you will see all the online exams that you have to give. Click on Start Exam and your exam will start. Answer all of them and submit your exam. Once the result is published by the teacher, you can click on the View button to see your result. The next option on the dashboard is Download Center. Here you can download and view all the assignments, study materials, and other important documents provided by the teachers. Now let's come to the bottom menu bar. Here all the features are the same, just the fees option is different. Here you can see the status of all your fees transactions. If the payment gateway is integrated in your school, then you can directly pay your fees from here. Now let's talk about the menu bar. Click on this three line icon on the top left corner and it will open the menu bar. Here all the features are the same except some options in the last. So, let's talk about them one by one. You can click on My Documents to download and view the documents you have provided to the school. The next option is Teachers. Here you can give ratings to the teachers that are teaching you. Click on View to see the subject details of the teacher. And you can click on Add Rating and add a rating with a comment.
To view the books that you have taken from school, click on Library. Here you can view the books that you have issued. To see the available book in the library, click on the Books option in the top right corner. The next option is Transport Routes. Here you can see all the transport routes and see the fare of these routes. You can click on the View button and see all the details about the vehicle and driver. The next option is Hostels. Here you can see all the hostels provided by the school. You can click on View to see the room type, cost, and the number of beds available in the hostel. You can go to the About School option to see all the information about your school. If you want to change your password, click on Change Password. Then enter the old password and new password. The last option in the menu bar is to log out. Click on this and you will be logged out from the app. That's how easy it is to use this application. Thanks for watching this video till the end.